Hello everybody, I'm here to share with you one of my newest acquisitions, the Athern FP7 locomotive in Southern Pacific Livery. I have an ABA set, all tsunami and sound. Um, details include a correct Southern Pacific style snowplow, we got MU hoses, we got a coupler, those are useful. Um, of course we got grab irons that are all painted correctly, uh, bent wire, whether brass or stainless, I don't know. We have the, um, this little cover here on the nose, it's probably an MU cover. Uh, and then we have a Nathan M5 up here, we have some windshield wipers, we have obviously windshields for the windshield wipers, and we have a fully detailed interior cab painted green. And then as you can see, let me block out the light here real quick, there we go. At the bottom for the headlight. We have two incandescent bulbs per prototype, and then for the triple pile pile light, we have two incandescent bulbs, and then I'll show you something here in a, in a little bit. But coming to the side of the engine, yeah, you see a nice, nice paint job here. Lettering is indeed crisp and easy to read, even the small stuff, if you have a magnifying glass. We have the Rear, 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 we have the rearward facing icicle breakers. The 48 inch dynamic fan, and then the three, excuse me, four 36 inch radiator fans. Uh, fuel tank that's all detailed up, partial skirting. There's the uh, exhaust for the steam generator. The B unit features some specific truck detail. Come on, focus. Focus. Ta da! Specific truck detail. I'll have to research what that is. Different types of uh, either roller bearings or bearing journals for the axles. We got the fuel tank. And 6450, we have pretty much the same detail, icicle breakers, uh, M5 air horn. Um, I'll show you some of the extra grabs on this. If I can. There we go. So I'm going to show you some of the extra grabs here. Uh, you can see the uh, sun shield and the mirrors. Then we can see the headlight and pile driver light in action. Incandescent bulbs as per prototype. And what's really cool with this model that I didn't find in the documentation, I just happened to press F6 and factory installed, ready and raring, ready and raring to go, is the red emergency light or the marker light. So I thought that is super cool. It has it on both 6450 and 64.55. So without further ado, I will give you guys a quick little running video of this engine. Thanks for watching.